Hey everybody, John Muller here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I made some of my custom background videos for using in Google Meet. Um, the first thing I did is I went to, to one of my windows and I held my phone up against the window in landscape mode and, you know, just like kind of that. And I pressed it against the window so that it wouldn't move at all. Because what you don't want is the video jumping as it resets from uh, one frame to another or even moving or tilting while it's in the front of a little window that we're going to put on top of it. So you got to be really careful. You want to record maybe about 30 seconds of video. And once you do that, you're going to go into iMovie here and we're going to create a new project. And we're going to choose movie. And we're going to bring into this our video. We could just drag it in and the other thing I'm going to have in here is a PNG file which is uh, of a window frame. So other than the window frame everything else is transparent. Uh, so I'm going to put those up here in the top. First thing I do is drag my video down here to the bottom and I'm going to click on the video I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to detach the audio. The reason I'm going to detach the audio is to make the file a little smaller. There's some background noise in there. So I'm going to select the audio and I will hit cut and delete the audio out. Now there's no audio in the video. The next thing I'm going to do here in this little trick at the end of this video, when it you know, I think it's about 30 seconds or so. When it starts playing from the beginning, the sky may have changed a little bit, casting shadows differently through the, through the frame. So what you don't want to do is just leave it to start over because what that's going to cause is this effect where the, the image almost looks like it jumps or changes. And so every 30 seconds is going to throw your viewers off or the participants in your meetings. So what we do is we take this video, we're going to right click it and hit copy. We're going to go highlight over here, click in this space. We're going to then hit control V and we have an exact replica. So now we have one minute of video, but it's the same video. So you're going to get the jump effect. We're going to highlight this second one and then we're going to go up here in the upper right and there's this little speed icon, we're going to choose the speed icon and we're going to tell it to reverse the video. What that means is when you go from the first video to the second, it's going to start with the same shadows and everything and it's going to go all the way back so that at the end of the second video, it'll have the same shadows and sun positions, clouds, everything as it did when it first started. And that's the little trick for ensuring you don't get a jump or you know, you know, not alerting people to that it's a video that keeps repeating itself. Now, if we left it as is, what would happen is you would see a person kind of floating in front of this, this environment that you're like, well, how are they there? Like, how is that possible? So you need something on top of this whole video that makes it look real, makes it like, look like you're sitting in a room looking outside. And that's where this window comes in. So I'm going to go drag this window down here. And then I'm going to grab the right side of this. And I'm going to take it all the way, all the way to the end. And I'm going to, so that's aligned with the end of the video. Boom. Now, as I go through it, notice what it's doing. The default here is, I forget what it's called, like a Kerns or something, Kevin something. Anyway, we don't like that. We don't want that weird effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to select it. We're going to go up here and we're going to tell it that we want to fit it. It's, I'm sorry, crop to fill. Now, if we just leave it like that, if we hit this little check mark, Notice what it does. It's bleeding. The video is bleeding to the right and the left. Well, that doesn't look very natural, right? We have walls in our house. So what we're going to do is a little bit different. We're going to crop the window. Let's 
so that we don't show anything beyond the window. So now I truly have a window that has a video in the background and we could actually play it and you could see that if you look close enough, you'd be able to see that there's ripples in the water, that the clouds may be moving, etc. And that's it. All we would do now is export it in the upper right hand as a file. And you're going to export it as an MP4. And uh, then you'll be able to upload it right into Google Meet. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.